Hello everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys swatches of Jeffree Star's new beauty color, color? Killer, why can't I ever say things right the first time? Jeffree Star's new beauty killer palette. Um, I'll also be telling you my first impression slash review and uh, that's what we're doing today. So let's get into it. This palette has 10 shadows in it and it runs for $45 out of the 10 shadows. Four of them are matte, the rest of them are uh, frost or glitters. I don't know if it's translating well on camera here just how big these pans are, but they are pretty big each. Um, everybody knows how big a MAC pan is, so let's just uh, do this right here. You see that? That is the size of a MAC pan compared to one of these shadows. All right, so looking at the packaging, we have the pink packaging here with gold trim. It is a cardboard package and you open it on up and you have a pretty good size mirror and then of course the 10 shadows there on the bottom with Jeffree Star's little logo stamped into each one. As you can see, this is quite a colorful palette. You have pink, you have blue, you have gold, you have purple, and then you have this black with this beautiful glitter in it. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera but the glitters aren't just silver like from it there is hair in my mouth right now as I'm looking at myself on the screen it looks like these are coming out as like silver no these are like blue and gold and some pink in there it just it's so pretty and I love that so much the nice thing about this palette is that it does give you some normal colors so you don't have to create just crazy out there looks with it now let's get into the performance of the shadows so this color right here this lovely gold one um that one kind of I had some issues with. On my lids right now, you can see it's really intense, but that was after using glitter glue. My Too Faced glitter glue, I had to put it on there after I realized that I would have to sit there and pack it on and pack it on and pack it on. When I applied the color to my lid the first time, it seemed like it was just a whole bunch of gold glitter pieces sticking to my lids instead of like an actual smooth color, if that makes sense. So like I said, I did have to get the brush and pack it on more and pack it on more until it became a solid color but once I use the glitter glue I absolutely love the color you do have to work with it quite a bit and since it is kind of chunky it does create a bit of fallout color star power here this bright pink one I found can stain your skin um, I filmed my swatches last night and I once I was done I of course wiped them off of my arm um, I didn't notice until later when I was going to bed and wash my face off and everything I was like oh my arm still has a pink a pink streak on there where star power was but I did use star power on my lids yesterday I went in to the crease lightly with the blender brush and whenever I washed my face off I did not have any staining on my eyes I did not pack it on intensely onto my lid or anything like I said it was buffed out in the crease and underneath but there was no staining I did use a cleansing oil on my eyelids so that might have been why it came off so easily my dog is knocking things over Another heads up I kind of wanted to give you guys is that this shade right here, Black Rainbow, with all those beautiful sparkles, I applied it to my eyelids and with just normal primer underneath and everything, and I noticed that the sparkles did not really stick. They would fall off throughout the day. So that was yesterday. So today I put glitter glue on and I applied it on and the glitters actually did stick. And to me that's important because the glitters are what make that shade so beautiful. I just love the different color glitters in it. That one with the glitter glue the sparkles stay on and it just looks majestic but aside from all that this color is really pigmented like you do not have to use a lot to get it really dark there that's what I have on here obviously and it just required a few pats and that was on there so whenever I swatched out expensive and violence on my arm I was kind of iffy because they looked kind of like they might be sheer but whenever I went to apply them to my lids there was absolutely no problem with those two they applied to the lids nice and pigmented and and that's great. Courtney makes for an awesome transition color. It blended out really nicely. And then when I noticed that Vanity here took a bit more blending than I'm used to, I found that going back over it with Courtney kind of helped things out a bit. So that one was kind of a lifesaver with cutting down the blending time. China White, I used that as a brow bone shade and that blended in perfectly with Courtney. And Princess here is a pretty color. It kind of has an iridescent shift to it. It's kind of like a pinkish, but also kind of like white and maybe like a tiny bit of 
of lavender in it. I don't know, it's really cool. All right, so that is my rundown. A few of them definitely require more time and more effort. I think in my case, the reason I'm willing to put that effort forward is because of how pretty the colors are. So that's definitely a personal preference with that. Um, the rest of the shades worked great. I've been able to create some really pretty looks with this, like the one in my previous boxy charm video. I've already had a few requests for a tutorial on that look, so you can create some pretty stuff with this. It's just gonna take a bit longer. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let's get into the swatches. I hit my elbow. For those of you who were able to get one, are you liking it? Are you not liking it? Meh. <laughs> I want to know. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not yet already. And until next time, guys, goodbye. <laughs>